Hi, this I hope will be a very quick tutorial just showing you how to get started creating websites with Hugo Down. Um, so I've created my own little package which you can install here at, from, from GitHub at DJ Navarro slash Carla Down. Um, and what that will do is make sure that you have all the dependencies that you need to get up and running. Um, well, almost all of them. One thing you need to do to, before you can get started is make sure that you have an appropriate version of Hugo. Um, so version 0.66 uh, will do the job. Um, oh yeah, well it does help if I namespace my call, doesn't it? If I go Hugo down, Hugo install, and it goes, it checks. Turns out on my machine I've already got it, so I'm ready to get started. Okay, so if we go just, just go color down, and I'll go create Hugo down flood and I'm just going to create a new uh, website uh, on my desktop um, and it will go download the theme it knits all the markdown files to or the R markdown files to regular R markdown and it takes a moment because it's just creating a little bit of artwork in the background for fun. Okay, it opens it up and we have a new R Studio session. Hey, okay, let's just clear that junk out of the way. Control L. Um, if I go, so library, you go down. You don't need color down for anything anymore. Um, it was there solely to make that installation process slightly less painful. So if I go Hugo start, it will create the website, uh, well, I, it will create a preview of the website that you can browse and have a look at. Um, so here we go, it's got, you know, a bunch of stuff, there are some posts and so on. Um, there's some tutorials that you can follow if you like. Let's suppose I want to create a new post, oh, I just go use post, and I'm just going to create a post called my new post um, and what you can see if I just go over here to the files uh, tab if I look under content and post what you can see is it's created a folder called my new post and in it is this index.rmd uh, file and that's what I'm staring at right here so I will just capitalize some things because I'm like that um, this is a new post that will be the a little preview summary that comes up author is the author which I'm going to put in all caps I don't know why I'll go hello this is a post and I'll go control shift I always forget how to do this whatever I'm just going to insert an R chunk um, and we'll go plus two plus two great so I've saved that if I just go and knit this, what you can see is that this has created a new regular Markdown document that looks almost the same as the one that I just wrote, uh, except that it is, um, ah, please give me full screen, uh, taken the R bits and turned them into raw HTML, which will eventually show up in the website. Okay, so if I now just go back over here to the console and go, um, Let's just start Hugo, the Hugo preview again and have a look under posts. You will see, hey, my new Oost. You know what? I'm sticking with it. I am living with my new Oost. Um, okay, so this has created this website. It's got my new Oost. Um, and it's written by the author in very bold. So, hey, here, hello, this is a new post. And you get something that looks like our markdown um, in text. Woohoo! So that's the gist of how you uh, get up and running. You can customize this output in all sorts of ways. So to illustrate that, if you just go to the tutorial, I'm not going to do anything with that here, but if you under, look under the second section, there's a whole thing about how you can you know, make the blog posts follow whatever style you like. So really, just to get things uh, to the point that you can actually publish it, what we want to do is make this a git repository, so we'll just go use git, um, and yes, I will create, I'll um, do this, and yes, I will, 
what it was asking me there, because you couldn't see, was asking me to restart the session and uh, commit things. Okay, so uh, we have a Git repository. That's fantastic. Ask all of that craft uh, you can see if I just go to there we've got a whole bunch of things that are now relevant to git what I will now do is go use github I love to use this package so much I'll go okay yep sure that'll work as my uh, new git repository and I'll go yes that's fine creates github repository pushes everything to master um, and come on. there we go, opens it up over here, and we have uh, something that is almost ready to go. Uh, let's go into here, settings, scroll down a little bit to where is the thing that says GitHub pages. Okay, and oh no, we have nothing. Why? Because I am stupid. Not stupid, well. I forgot something that needs to be done. When you create your website with Hugo Down, typically it will just all that Hugo Down the package does is generate a plain markdown uh, from your R Markdown documents. It doesn't build a website. So if I wanted to build it into the into uh, an HTML website, I need Hugo to do that. So for that, I'm just going to go Hugo, um, no, Hugo down, Hugo built, and I need, I'm going to tell it to build it to the docs folder because I'm about to deploy this on, uh, on GitHub pages. So we'll go desk equals docs and we're done. You can see that there's a docs folder in here that now has a whole lot of, uh, things that look like there's an HTML file. So we'll commit these changes. So we'll just go that. There we go. Commit. There we go. Come on. Give me a second. There we go. We'll just commit this and we'll say add site. Commit that. Done. We'll push this up. Okay. Something screwy with my setting again and that's not going to work because that is not my username. So we go, try that again. Uh, hopefully I can remember my password. And there we go. Okay, so it's pushed everything back up. So if we go back over here and um, let me just go back to the site what we should see is we've added the site now. There's now a docs folder. And because there's a docs folder, if I go back over to settings and scroll down here to GitHub pages, it now gives me the option of deploying to GitHub pages from the docs folder, which is the actual thing I wanted to do. So it's done that. Um, and your site is ready to be published at DJ Navarro github.io. Let's see if it's built yet. And it's built. We're now published. Uh, we have the website and that doesn't just include the original stuff. It should also be, um, yep, there you go. It's got my new oost. And I'm going to leave it like that. So from there, it's basically happy blogging. Um, I will, I'll stop there and not waste anybody's time. All right.